How to Treat and Cure Drug Abuse Drug addiction is a chronic disease characterized by compulsive, or uncontrollable, drug seeking and use despite harmful consequences and changes in the brain, which can be long lasting. These changes in the brain can lead to the harmful behaviors seen in people who use drugs. Drug addiction is also a relapsing disease. Relapse is the return to drug use after an attempt to stop. The path to drug addiction begins with the voluntary act of taking drugs. But over time, a person's ability to choose not to do so becomes compromised. Seeking and taking the drug becomes compulsive. This is mostly due to the effects of long-term drug exposure on brain function. Addiction affects parts of the brain involved in reward and motivation, learning and memory, and control over behavior. Addiction is a disease that affects both the brain and behavior. Treatment Addiction treatment must help the person do the following. Stop using drugs. Stay drug-free. Be productive in the family, at work, and in society. Successful treatment has several steps. Detoxification, the process by which the body rids itself of a drug. Behavioral counseling. Medication, for opiate tobacco, or alcohol addiction. Evaluation and treatment for co-occurring mental health issues such as depression and anxiety. Long-term follow-up to prevent relapse. A range of care with a tailored treatment program and follow-up options can be crucial to success. Treatment should include both medical and mental health services as needed. Follow-up care may include community or family-based recovery support systems. Medications can be used to manage withdrawal symptoms, prevent relapse, and treat co-occurring conditions. Withdrawal Medications help suppress withdrawal symptoms during detoxification. Detoxification is not in itself treatment, but only the first step in the process. Patients who do not receive any further treatment after detoxification usually resume their drug use. Relapse Prevention Patients can use medications to help re-establish normal brain function and decrease cravings. Medications are available for treatment of opiate, heroin, prescription pain relievers, tobacco, nicotine, and alcohol addiction. Scientists are developing other medications to treat stimulant, cocaine, methamphetamine, and cannabis, marijuana, addiction. People who use more than one drug, which is very common need treatment for all of the substances they use. Types of Treatment Programs Drug abuse treatment plans not only help addicts detoxify in a safe environment but also assist them through all stages of the recovery process. Diagnosing a Substance Abuse Problem Diagnosing a drug addiction does not solely depend on determining the physical manifestations of the drug addict. Instead, Medical professionals use a series of both physical and behavioral diagnostic criteria to determine if you have an addiction. These criteria include Inability to cease using drugs Inability to meet obligations at work, in the family or to friends Withdrawal symptoms occur when drug use is stopped Physical tolerance to the effects of the drug Compulsive use of the drug even when harmful consequences are recognized. Inpatient drug abuse treatment Inpatient drug abuse treatment allows an addict to fully focus on his or her recovery. Attending an inpatient treatment facility can also greatly increase the chance of successfully completing a treatment program for drug abuse, particularly if an addict does not have a good support system at home or has a mental illness, such as depression, personality disorder or anxiety disorder. Specific therapies used. A variety of treatment modalities may be employed in any of the aforementioned drug abuse treatment settings. Cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, has been shown to be effective in treating substance abuse issues. CBT helps the individual to manage their thought patterns, essentially controlling negative thought patterns that may lead to substance abuse or other destructive behavior. Oftentimes, Patients discover how to identify triggers that cause them to use drugs, learning to better respond to them without turning to substance abuse. Motivational Enhancement Therapy, 
MET, is another therapy often employed in drug abuse treatment. With MET, a therapist helps a patient to tap into their personal motivations to resist drug use. Those who participated in MET experienced reduced rates of drug use, fewer arrests, and increased compliance with treatment. In addition to individual and group therapy, recovering addicts benefit from family therapy. Since family members often serve as the core support system for recovering individuals once they exit a rehab program, it's imperative that family members are able to understand the process of recovery so they can best serve as sources of encouragement and support. Family therapy can also be used to address underlying familial issues that may have contributed to the substance abuse issue and repair relationships that were damaged due to addiction. Substance Abuse Services Substance abuse services are also most effective when combined with services that aid an addict in managing other aspects of his or her life. Substance abuse services are also most effective when combined with services that aid an addict in managing other aspects of his or her life. These services include Medical services HIV slash aid services Financial services Family services Vocational services Mental health services Educational services Legal services Child care services Housing, transportation services. Learn healthy ways to cope with stress. Relieving stress without drugs. Drug abuse often stems from misguided attempts to manage stress. Many people turn to alcohol or recreational drugs to unwind and relax after a stressful day, or to cover up painful memories and emotions that cause us to feel stressed and out of balance.